The move to next change and move to previous change commands let you quickly navigate between changes in a file just using your keyboard. Now here I have a file that's being tracked using git, and you can see over here by the scroll bar that I made a number of changes in it. So I made some modifications, some additions, and some deletions. Here's one of the changes, and say that I actually want to jump to the next change in the file. This is where the move to next change command can come in. So to invoke it, I can either use the command palette using control shift P or command shift P, and then say move to next change, and I could just invoke it from here, or I could use the keyboard shortcut. So the key binding for this is option or alt and then F5. So if I want to jump to the next change, I'm just going to say option or alt and F5, and now it has gone and jumped to the next change here. And sure enough, here I am on the change. I can browse the change itself, and I can just navigate through the file like this. So if I want to jump to the next change after this, I'll just press the same thing again, option or alt F5. I can just navigate through the entire file using that. Now, if I want to go backwards in the file, all I have to do is press the same keyboard shortcut, but hold down the shift key. So it'd be shift option or alt F5. So now notice I'm on this deletion here. And if I want to go back to the addition previously, I'm just going to do option shift F5. And now I'm going backwards through the file. So I can just navigate forward and backwards using option F5 and then holding down the shift key if I want to go backwards. So that is the move to next change and move to previous change commands. I find them especially helpful when you're dealing with larger files and you're wanting to quickly navigate between the changes, which are usually the points of interest in them, using only your keyboard.